Gemini, welcome to your July general in love reading. Please remember if this does not resonate to watch your moon and or rising sign. And of course, if you would like a reading with me, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Okay, so let me uh, focus here, Gemini. July 1st through the 31st. July 1st through the 31st. I'm getting something about some of you have a decision to make regarding love, a romantic situation, and the other thing I'm getting is regarding a move. So I feel like this is a, could be a physical move. I think there's a decision for some of you of where you want to live and what is best for you in terms of this location. The other thing is I feel like some of you, and the number three I think is going to be of importance. Three for me represents growth, expansion, uh, development, groups, groups of people, gatherings. So let me, uh, well, let me see what the cards say. But I do feel like some of you are really kind of trying to find out movement. When I get move, besides a physical move, it might also be where is the love in my life? Where, like friends, family, but I also get where is this love? So if it's a romance situation, like where are we headed? What direction is this relationship going in? Is it fulfilling for me? There's something about that. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, Gemini. Gemini. Okay, let's take a look, Gemini. I have the four of swords. Judgment, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, let me see what's underneath. The Page of Cups. Make sure you can see this. So the signs that I feel are important to you this month, Gemini, obviously we have judgment here. And this is our major arcana. This represents Scorpio. I'm also getting Leo. But we do have quite a bit of cups here and also pentacles. So I feel that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and as I said, this is also for me, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus may have some significance. And for me, oftentimes, especially with judgment here, and this two right next to it, this is, um, I feel like there's indecisiveness, or this is where I was talking about having to make a decision, but not knowing which way to go. And I feel like with this page of cups, that this could also definitely, and the two of cups here represent a love 
situation. I also feel that there, this decision that I was talking about, whether it's moving or whether it's in love, there may be children involved that is affecting your decision. So there's children around you, or maybe you are, children are coming into play in terms of whether or not you move forward with something. And I feel there is, for some of you, kind of like this pressure to make a decision. There may also be a judgment or you're feeling judged. I also get something about self-judgment. So uh, be careful of being very harsh or critical with yourself. But this four to me does represent the home. It represents the family, foundation, security, stability. But with the swords, it also can represent the way that you see things in your home or the where you believe your home to be, where do you feel most comfortable as I stated the, at the very beginning. I also get that there may be somebody that is traveling or wanting to travel, but there could be a delay in this being able to travel. Like, I feel like there's somebody that can't possibly uh, move. It may be because of a legal situation. I am getting also something with a legal situation regarding children. So this might be uh, child support, child custody, trying to iron things out. I feel like somebody is also possibly unable to move or trying to figure out what you want regarding work and money. Like where can you afford to live? But something that it has been, I feel like at the beginning of the month, that by the end of the month, some of you are going to find yourself very busy or where there's, there's been lack of indecisiveness, I feel like you're going to be deciding on where you want to invest your energy, your, you like, what is the healthiest for you? Who are the people that you want around you that help um, support you and that are very grounding for you. But I also get that there's, there's the possibility of, of very much money coming in or resources that are going to be coming in. You know, a feeling of self-sufficiency of working very hard at something. And so I feel like I'm getting something possibly about paternity testing or there may be something like that. Somebody waiting. I just get like there's a message that's trying to come in about um, a child. The children are very important for some of you. And maybe there's also somebody is being torn regarding love, can be regarding a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus um, in terms of whether or not they want children. Somebody, I feel like, wants children. Maybe somebody uh, is hesitant or the timing is a bit off. But there's something about going back to, like, get moving from the dark into the light, um, especially with this in reverse. I feel like there's a need to kind of, like, this is a time for self-reflection, for... I'm getting even possibly like meditating, going within, finding that balance, because I feel like something is off balance. 
you know, you put, you get out what you put into it. And I feel like maybe there's something or in the past that maybe either someone has been lacking around you where they haven't been putting energy into something or you haven't been putting energy into something. But I feel like, you know, there's, there's something that's coming into fruition. But I feel like there's a need to kind of look within, look at your emotional state or somebody may be avoiding emotions, whether it's you or somebody around you, like, the, you know, you're not willing to kind of, I feel like, you know, go within or listen to your intuition. There could be like a lack of imbalance. This can also represent, as I said, uh, this could represent disharmony in love, disharmony in a relationship. Now with the four, this doesn't necessarily have to be romance or marriage. It can be regarding family, that there's a division within a family or relatives. This could also be indicative of somebody breaking up or considering a breakup or not seeing eye to eye. But you do have a decision to make. And I think that it's also regarding, um, there's something about health and healing. But something positive, I feel like where there's lack of communication, there's going to be communication and something's going to come in and I feel like it's going to come in pretty quickly. Like with the eight and the nine here. I feel like where there's been something that's held up or lacking in something, something manifests itself. There's movement. This eight speaks to movement, action, change. It's kind of like refueling, recharging. But somebody's waiting to hear, I feel like a phone call. This could be regarding your health or uh, lab reports, lab tests. There's something about being in the sun, I also feel. And then for others, I feel like this is, um, this is hearing something about, there's been delays about a job, a job opportunity. Or whether or not you can afford to do something. And I feel like where there's been some indecisiveness, you most likely, quite a few of you, will be making a decision. I get that you've been in the dark about something and something's coming to light if you allow it to. But I feel like there's a need to kind of go within, look at your, what you're feeling, where are your emotions at, Are you happy listening to your intuition? Getting back in balance. So this may also be that there's something off balance and I just feel like there's energy, energy and health and things that are gained. Um, and there's messages that are coming through. So there's some improvement that is that is happening. Let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, I just get where there's lack of focus or kind of being in the dark about something or there's a time for healing. I feel like maybe a break or some bed rest or, you know, that might be helpful. 
And then there's recuperation. Where there's been loss, possibly even in finances, there's something to be gained. So something, you're going to gain something that, like you're getting back in balance and getting grounded again. And some of you, I feel like this is travel or can, yeah, this goes back to the move again. It's moving, it's moving on. Some of you, this is, a, like I said, a breakup or an ending of a relationship, but you're going to feel lighter. Like, I, I, I feel like where maybe somebody's been draining your energy, you're going to be feeling like on your feet again, like you, this is success, this is fruition, this is abundance. You have attained something. So there's improvement, I feel, for quite a few of you as the month goes on. So these are just some messages, Gemini, that I am getting for you. Uh, remember, if this doesn't resonate, watch your moon and or rising sign. And then, of course, if you would like a private reading with me, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.